Welcome back. Let's the podcast. Up? We just beat beat one of the Genovas, and now we're uh, continuing in the Shinra Tower. And I'm ready for what happens next, but Ben has no clue. There's some items up there on that grating. If you want to go grab those, Wait. I don't remember what they are exactly. I think there's potions Where? or oh, yeah, others or something. Potion, potion. Um, there's a guy standing up there just kind of watching you. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Oh, well, he's not um, fighting me. If you want to steal from these guys, I think they have some stuff. Okay. These are these are soldiers, like uh, like Cloud used to be. Oh. They're 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 not first class soldiers though. Like Cloud says he is. They're they're uh, they're third class. They're below. Oh, no. They're below. I'm asleep. Oh, you're asleep. We're gonna steal from the other one. We need to get us. We need to get another steal to give to Red Thirteen. Oh yeah. Hard edge. Nice. That's a sword for Cloud. For Dicritus. For Dicritus. Actually, another one of his classic swords. Most people know the Buster Sword, of course, because that's the famous one. But yeah. uh, there is some other promotional art that they had for the game, like drawn art, with him on a Harley and Davidson motorcycle. And in that art, he's holding the Hard Edge Sword. Little, yeah! uh, little trivia for the viewers. Yeah! Look at all those yes. Did you see that? Yep. Oh. There's another enemy here too called a mo Moth Slasher. It's a robotic enemy on a spinning wheel that uh, bake, you can steal carbon bangles from them, which are better than the mithril bangles that we have, I think. Um, if you find them, I wouldn't stress about getting them because we can just buy them in the next town or whatever. But. Yeah, go ahead and equip that sword for Cloud. Oh yeah, it's, it's good. Sword. It's twice as good as the one you have. Bam. Yes, it is. Look at that. You guys nice. have more slots too. Do we have any other materia that we're just holding on to? Poison. Yeah, throw it on there. Yeah, that's the 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 AP you get after each battle or whatever. It's not split or anything. However much you get, that's what every material you have equipped gets. So. If you ever have empty slots and you have materia, you want to just throw them on just to get the experience, really. Alright. Yeah. Look at DJ Fluffy. DJ Fluffy. That's a good name. <laughs> I, I, like I wonder if he's going to be offended by that. I mean... Nah. We're, we're using those kind of names in the game. We already have Recruit. Yeah. And honestly, I'm kind of glad that there wasn't enough space for DJ Fluffkins because DJ Fluffy just sounds like a good name for Red 13. Yep. <clears throat> but but DJ Fluffy he knows who we're talking about oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, I I wanted to honor him in this game mm -hmm. especially since he said he wanted to watch it yes <laughs> so that yeah, means we'll have at least two viewers hopefully yeah. Recru recruit might uh, have fallen off by this point but <laughs> we'll see Kenny, Kenny said he'd watch it oh really yeah we have three viewers oh that's awesome fuck yeah that's Three more viewers than I normally have. Uh, I can't go oh, ahead. that door's locked. Where are you supposed to go next? Pretty sure you just go up. Um. Oh, I I didn't even pick. You're yeah. You're in the. You have to go back to the room where you got Red Thirteen from, like that lab room. That's where to, you, was. Yeah, but you have to go up. You went the wrong way. You mean I went the wrong way? I did go up. Oh, did you? Um. Upstairs? Visit the laboratory that you have seen. Grab the poison material from the chest. Prepare for the characters in the upcoming battle. Um. Okay, I'll go back down and, and you tell me if I went the wrong way. Oh, you have to use the elevator. Oh, okay. To go to the 68th floor. Um, oh, that's a good point. No, wait, we already fought. Boom! Is DJ Fluffy gonna be asleep forever? 
sleep is it forever. Like, is it like Pokemon? Like oh no. All okay. right. So at the end of the battle, he wakes back up. Yeah. Um. So I need to go back down. Oh no! Wait, we. I'm. Hold on. I was behind. We just did this fight, so I'm further up than we used to be. Oh, we we can't miss that though. Go um. After the battle, go back to the uh. Go back to the lab room. Did you get the enemy skill materia from inside the cage? No. You need that. There's only four of those in the game. What cage? Where you fought the, um... It's in there? Or is it downstairs? It must be downstairs. Yeah, go down the elevator. In there, yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's what we missed. Um, I'm glad we missed it because we needed this enemy skill material that we're going to get. But you talk to the employee that's on the stairs and he gives uh -huh. you his key card because he's afraid of you. Huh? And that's how you get to the 68th floor. Oh. Miss. Man, she's taking a lot of damage. I wonder... Is her defense too low? Well, we'll just cheat for a minute. Yeah. And we'll, we'll take a look. Yeah! I mean, I think we, we, put, we put her in a mithril, the mithril armlet, so I don't know yeah. why her defense would be too low, but... She probably is the softest person on our team right now, other than Eris. Hmm. Weird. Man, this raid, DJ Fluffy's gonna get his second limit break pretty soon. Jeez. Ice too. No. All right. All right. Loco weed. Oh yeah, that's for Chocobo. So yeah, definitely get the material that's in that cage. That's okay. important. Dude, I did not see that. Yep. Um, I would equip that to... Cloud has cover, so put it on Cloud. Material. Right. Yep. Yep. Does it matter which one I go on to? No. Nah. Okay. Just throw it on. Enemy skill? Yep. Look at all those stars. Yep. So enemy skill is the blue mage material. If you know anything about blue mages, which you probably don't because you don't like Final Fantasy. Didn't, didn't like Final Fantasy. Yes. Um, I was about to say, you better correct yourself. Yep. You check um, yourself before so you wreck yourself. The blue mage is the enemy skill mage. So how they work is... In this game... You get hit by a certain ability, so there's like the, all those stars, each one is a different ability that you're allowed to learn. Uh -huh. If an enemy hits the person that has that material on with an ability that you can learn, then you learn it. Uh -huh. And then you can use it with that with that material. So there's only four of those materials in the game, so it's kind of a it's kind of its own game to get all four and find all those abilities and teach them to yourself. And there are some really, especially early game, there's some really important abilities to get that help you for grinding limit breaks and kills and things like that and getting AP for your other materia. So we will we will have fun doing that. Oh yeah. I've, I've spent lots of time grinding for AP with enemy skill material. Look at that fucking cool sword. Yeah. Ah. I like the Buster Sword a lot, but that one's also really cool. I guess why not? Do, 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 do. I mean, that guy's gonna be <sighs> dead now, right? Should okay. be. Oh man, Holy these, these guys are pretty tough. Third class soldiers. Mm hmm. These might be second class soldiers, actually. Are they? No, they're thirds. The guy says. 
Nice. All right, so yeah, we got the enemy skill material. You have to talk to the guy to get the key card. Did you do that yet? This one? I think so, yeah. Yep. No, please don't kill me. <laughs> there you go. Now you can go upstairs where you need to go um, and get the uh, get to the 68th floor. All right. I'm going to save again. All right. Because I like saving. Saving is good. Before long, we're going to start saving with some extra slots, just in case. You know what? Actually, it might be smart to do that. Um, at the very least, like before we start recording for a session, to have a save from where we left off and then start saving in a different spot. So that if, God forbid, something happened to the recording, we could start back where we were <laughs> when we started. Oh, that's day. true. You know what I mean? That's, not that's something smart. not something we want to be able to do, to have to do, but <laughs> But just in case we want to be able to do it. Right. I would hate yeah. to have to jump four hours later into the game on the next episode. Or yeah. have to replay the whole game up to that point so that we could record it again. <laughs> Yeah, but we could just turn on invincibility. That's true. Through. Yes, we could. We could make it work. It would be possible. I could. I mean, I could probably get back to this point in like two hours. But what happens if I walk into this? Um, I don't think you have a choice. Oh, okay. Um, where are you? Oh, you're back downstairs again. You need to go upstairs. What? No, this is the sixty-eighth floor. It is. Yeah. Oh, um. What? what are these? Keycard sixty-eight. Oh, head downstairs until you reach the sixty-sixth floor's elevator. Oh, because okay. now now you have arrows, so you're trying to leave. You're trying to leave. My bad. My my game knowledge is messing up with my like narrative knowledge. <laughs> so yeah, you're supposed to leave. You're supposed to try and leave Shinra now because you have arrows back. All right. What's happening? It's just gearing up for an attack. Well, the animations make forever. it slow, yeah. Kind of annoying. These are weird enemies. <laughs> yeah. Cloud's natural is 217, though? What is is it really that high? Jesus Christ. We need more weapons for better weapons for everyone else now, too. Yeah. Do we, we need to stop by that, that gym, though, right? On the way down? Um, If we pass it, yes. I'm not sure if you can get it now. When it, when it references in the guide, I'm not sure if it meant later on this visit or if on a later visit to the tower. We'll see. It wants, me, it wants me to go to the 66th floor and use the elevator? Yeah, you're just you're just trying to get to the elevator, I think, in general. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run to the gym real fast, because yeah. it's only... 64? It's only stairs. Yeah, there it is. Let's see if that vending machine gives it. And there's elevators here. Mm -hmm. It should do the same thing. It should still work. I don't have any other Damn. <laughs> Alright, so I guess not. Maybe later. It's probably later because that's um, none of the employees are here when you come back later in the game. Oh, okay. So maybe you have to bang on it when no one's there or something. I gotcha. Ah! <laughs> oh, sin. Bum, bum, bum. God, the music in this game is so good. Yeah, so I, I, I do like the music more now. My issue with it was when I first started the game. Yeah. It was really loud and blaring right in my ears. Oh, really? <laughs> and it was, it's, you know, the, it's the chip tune kind of stuff. Yes. So it's like... No, it, it's, it's, it, it, it's it meant hurt. to be like background, like ambient. <laughs> yeah. Now, there is a section in this game that it's a, while it's still a very good song, you're in the area for so long and it's so loopy that... I kind of hate it. 
Um, but it's it's no fault of the song itself. It's just because they only have the one song and you're in this area for like an hour. So it's all you hear and it kind of sucks. But it's okay. I'll just turn my TV down and I won't have to worry about it. Yeah. We'll, and we'll make it really loud for, uh, yes. for the people watching the videos. I'll keep it 10 decibels higher than I usually make the game audio on the edit. Yeah. <laughs> It sounds perfect. Yep. Um, so, I'm going to finish this this little section up, and then we're going to go to the next episode. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. President Shinra is doing his little monologue. Oh, recruits getting angry. Do. Oh. Now, the Turks are, while they are awesome in the game, those are some of the characters that I really think they developed better and are way more of what they should be in the other the other FF7 content that they've done. Gotcha. Like, in the movie, the Turks are amazing. <laughs> like, I love them. And they're also really good in the, um, in Before Crisis, the prequel. I hate how much you talk about the movie and you want me to wait until after I know. I beat the game. You have to be do it, watch it after the game. But we'll we'll have to find a way so that we could we could both watch it too. Um, like obviously we can't stream the movie, but maybe we could do like what Kevin Smith does and do like um, we could do a commentary track. You mean like for the movie? movie. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because I have I have the like that, that's the other thing. There's two versions of the movie. There was like the original like Advent Children, and then there was um, they did a Blu-ray uh, complete edition of the movie. It's like a director's uh, cut. Um, but it's not really a director's cut because the director's cut is like the original version before they cut stuff out. This is more like a couple years later they had to do a Blu-ray and they had to go like remaster the movie, and they're like, you know what? Since we're doing that, let's do some other stuff we'll add, make some more scenes and add some more flair to the animation and like they made a better version of the movie and it's 10 times better than the original the original was good but the, the, the complete edition is fantastic I gotcha well I mean we could always do Skype and, and share share screen ah yeah that could work can you share play um Movies? a movie no uh, yeah, I probably not. I would doubt it. Um, we'll figure it out. But that could be fun. Yeah. Pro we'll probably have to watch it first. Like I'll, I'll, I'll get it to you somehow so you can see it, and then we'll sit down and do the commentary uh, after, I, after after you've watched it once. I can also just get the movie myself. That's and true. You, you could don't do have that. to worry about it. You could do that. I'm sure it's pretty easy to get now too. Yeah. But I would not get it by, you know, weird means. <laughs> so, I have, just to throw this out there to show how nerdy I am, I have three copies of this movie. Um, because I have the original DVD that I got when it came out. Then, a couple of years later, I was able to get the limited edition DVD which has like an extra disc and it has like a novella and like postcards and stuff with it <laughs> and like Jeez. a fancy box the limited edition collector set I have that then when the complete edition came out the blu-ray edition I got that as well so I have I have three copies of the movie and I'm keeping all of them <laughs> Um, I think my dad watched one of the Final Fantasy movies way back when. Probably Spirits it, Within. That or is that is that a movie? Spirit, thought, Spirits Spirits Within. Like Spirits Advent Within is Children that or something like that. Did he watched Advent Children. That'd be weird. Um, that's the one we're talking about, the Final Fantasy VII movie. Okay. Um, the original one they did was called Spirits Within, and it was. It was just a Final Fantasy movie that they decided to make. Like, their animation studio made it. Uh -huh. And it was... It looked amazing at the time. Like, it was a, it was around the time that, like, Matrix came out. 
something like that, like, like late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. And okay. graphically, the movie looked amazing. But it was a piece of shit. <laughs> like, it made no sense. And it had some little fan service things that weren't good. <laughs> and it was just a very, like, if America were to make a Final Fantasy product, it would have been that movie. <laughs> like, that's what it was. But it was still made by, like, the Japanese studio and stuff. It was weird. Um, years later, they did uh, the FF7 movie, and it was much better. Okay, so your cell door's open, and you're escaping right now. But we need to start another episode. Okay. So we're going to do that right now. Do it. Uh, see you guys.